talk about how I afford to travel because one, I've been getting a lot of questions about that and it is a subject I am really passionate to share about. So here we go. Let's first clarify what kind of traveler I am, who I'm targeting in this video. I am a full-time traveler currently, but I don't plan on being a full-time traveler forever. And I'm saying this because I don't want people to get the wrong idea that my career is traveling, I make money on the road and all these things. So this video is really targeting those people who just want to travel for a few months, maybe a few years. I really want this video to inspire those who think that they cannot afford to do this. You just need to have the resources. I'm going to show you exactly how you can. First thing I did was save up an initial amount of money. Now if you want to know more about the exact numbers, I actually made a video about that. It's called How Much Travel Has Cost Me. Number two. Can you see it? I feel like I'm really good at finding cheap flights and that makes my whole travel experience really, really great. It's not really a secret how I do it, I just use Skyscanner. And Skyscanner is really cool because it gives you an option to look up flights by month. That really makes it easy because you would never know that buying a flight on Wednesday is $100 more expensive than buying a flight on Tuesday unless you use a search engine like Skyscanner where they give you a breakdown of the month. The other thing is I'm very, very flexible. You can type in everywhere and then it will just shoot out to any country that's in the closest range in the cheapest order. And so that's really cool because if you're flexible and you don't really have an agenda, then you can really save money on Skyscanner by kind of using this trick. Number three, volunteer. Which is really the answer to this whole question in this whole video is I volunteer. This is not really much of a secret, but this is how I afford to travel. And that's because I don't have a lot of money. I saved up an initial amount of money, like I said. When my money runs out, I'm done. That's why I want to clarify why traveling is not my career, because I haven't actually made really any money while traveling. There is a career, travel blogging, travel vlogging, all these, you know, taking pictures, videography, there's a career, and you can make money off YouTube, you can make money off your WordPress, you can make money off Instagram. Yes, this all exists, but it's hard to do that. For those of you who just want to go travel for a month or two or even a year and that's not something that you want to do or you don't want to be on camera, this video is for you because you still can afford to travel and the answer is volunteering. I have been volunteering since the moment I started traveling. I started in Costa Rica. The first thing I did was go work on a farm and I found that through HelpX. The sites I use are HelpX or Workaway, but there are many other sites out there like Woofing. And basically, it's a site that gives you the option to find a place in whatever country, city you want, volunteer in exchange for sometimes free food, sometimes free accommodation, and sometimes both. And that's where you really hit the winner, and that's where you really save money. Here's the great part about it. All you have to do is get there. You can find a flight for $20, depending on where you're going. $10. I've seen it for $5. It's a super cool opportunity because you get to interact with locals, meet other children travelers so especially if you're traveling alone that makes it really nice it gives you the self-fulfillment it gives you this feeling that you're providing to a community you're giving back you traveling is actually contributing to the world Guatemala, doing a work away, working at Kayak Guatemala, which is a tourist company where we make videos, rock climbing, paddle boarding, kayaking, all these fun things in exchange for room and board and obviously this awesome place. Look into my eyes and show me all adventures I haven't seen. Taking all the life it is the spark, walking on fantasy. I made my third video here for the hostel that I'm volunteering at and I think it's really good. Now that I've explained to you how I afford to travel, I'm actually going to take you on a volunteer experience with me. I'm not going to tell you what city, I'm not going to tell you what country, but I found an awesome work away. I will be back here in China in August. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Food and accommodation are provided. It looks like a super sweet area. The owner seems really sweet. They're actually going to pick us up from the airport, which is even cool. I'm just super excited. I'm also taking my boyfriend with me and he hasn't done one of these volunteer jobs before, so I'm really excited because now I get to take somebody who's never volunteered before. Show him 
how great this system is. There are drawbacks. I haven't always had the best experiences with every volunteer place I've been to, but it's still a great way to travel and a great way to see the world. And I get to take you guys as well. That being said though, I am not going to be posting a video this Saturday because out of respect for the place I'm volunteering for, I'm not going to show up there and immediately with my camera and trying to edit something, trying to find a place that has Wi-Fi and upload the video. That's just really disrespectful. I'm going there to volunteer. I'm not going there to make videos. I'm going to try to post a video maybe a week from Saturday. I'm not really sure. Out of respect, I'm just not going to do it right away. I want to really put everything I can into this volunteer job. I hope that this video was informative, educational, helpful, inspiring, especially those who think they don't have enough money to travel because you can. In fact, if you have more questions about it, feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message. I will do my best to respond. I just kind of want to give you guys that opportunity that you can have that life. Remember to subscribe after this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and yeah, I will see you next time in a week or so when I post my next video. Bye-bye!